Hi, this is James Kendrick with JKOnTheRun.com and recently I posted a little teaser post on JK on the Run about running OS 10 on the HP Mini Note, which is this little beauty right in front of you on the screen there. You see the little HP logo. And quite frankly, what this was was my ability to use the free version of LogMeIn at LogMeIn.com and access my MacBook Pro, 17 inch MacBook Pro, using the web browser on the HP Mini, which allows me to actually work in OS 10 on the MacBook Pro from anywhere I happen to be with the HP Mini here. And it's something that I find incredibly useful and I've been doing quite a bit. So I wanted to show a, a little video of how well this works because I get a, I've get i gotten a lot of uh, questions and a lot of email from people said, yeah, but how, how practical is that really? Well, I'm going to show you. And on the screen right now, and I'm at a hard angle so I can video this so you'll have to excuse me if it takes me a while. I'm interacting with the HP Mini. You see the cursor moving with the trackpad on the Mini, the Mini Note. And I'm currently connected to James Kendrick's Mac which is my 17 inch MacBook Pro and I'm going to start a remote control session with the trackpad. Here we go and it's going to fire up here you'll see how long that takes which is not very long to connect up and bingo it comes up now everything is really small uh, scaled down because it's it's set to fit to the screen and uh, the resolution of the MacBook Pro 17 inch is like 1680 by 1050 whereas the HP Mini is only 1280 by 800 so what I'm going to do, and this is what's really cool when you interact. First I'm going to go to full screen, which is going to blow things back up. As you see at the top of the menu bar, that's what I'm doing. I'm blowing it up. Now things are a little bit better, but still it's compressing. See how I'm interacting with the dock down here? That's pretty cool. See how it works on the HP. Now, it's still, everything's too, too little, so if I go up to the top here, this little menu bar, I can set the resolution of the Mac on the fly to 1280 by 800, which is the resolution of the HP Mini. Now, everything is beginning to look a little more practical, and you'll see I can interact with the dock in OS X. Everything's pretty cool. Now, how practical is this really? What can you really do? Well, a lot of things that I do with it, I'm going to show you, go into Microsoft Word, is I can actually work with documents. <clears throat> now here I've got one on the screen. Now it's crystal clear for me. It's kind of tough for you to see. I'm going to see if I can zoom in. See there? If I can get it where you can see as much as possible. It's crystal clear for me, and if I zoom in, it is for you too. So let's try to get it back just a little bit. There you go. And I can interact with it. I can type on the screen. Let's see if I can uh, interact with it. I'm typing on the keyboard now. See at the bottom, it's going in. And so not something that you necessarily want to do all the time but it's there but you see how fast the screen refresh is it's it's obviously not as fast as MacBook Pro but it's pretty darn quick now let's go to uh, preview let's see I may have a PDF in here or something yeah there's a PDF active and I can interact with my PDF on the Mac move around with the uh, trackpad once again and scroll up and down which as you can see everything is happening almost as fast uh, there's a little bit of latency with the uh, redrawing the screen on the mini but this is pretty fast in Internet Explorer and so it's it's quite usable 
is, is the point that I want to make. So we'll shrink that back up. Let's see what else. What if I needed to do a little web browsing? This is Safari. Oh, look at our favorite site. And I can scroll with the scroll bar, which is what I'm doing now. Or the cool thing is I can use page up and page down on the, on the HP Mini Note to move up and down. So you see how fast this is. Pretty darn quick. And that is Safari running on OS 10 on the MacBook Pro displayed on the uh, HP Mini Note. I can go look at my email in Entourage, which is pretty uh, pretty usable. Not something I need to do often, but main thing I would do would be uh, working with documents with Microsoft Word or something. What else do I have open here? Uh, Safari, Entourage, I don't know what I've got running here. Oh, there's Firefox. We can run Firefox. Well, same website. That's cool. So this is how that works in Firefox. Once again, I can even use page up, page down to go down and up. See how fast things happen. See how quick the screen, screen refresh is, which is kind of a lot of the questions that I've gotten. So I wanted to, to make that, drive that point home. Now let's say we wanted to go to the Finder, say. That's something I do a lot working with documents. Let's go up here. And I'm using the trackpad solely to uh, interact with the MacBook Pro here. It's pretty cool. I can see all my stuff here. That's the Finder. I can go up here to About This Mac. And let's get more info. Anybody familiar with the Mac can tell you exactly what they're looking at. The detailed information about James Kendrick's computer, the MacBook Pro here. And we'll go down to uh, Firewire. We've got the Canon camera, which I'm recording this with. So anyway, anything I can do on the Mac but Pro, sitting in front of it, pretty much, I can do here on the HP Mini Note using Log Me In Free, which is pretty cool. And I did want to try one thing. Let me see. Let's open up iPhoto, because this will be something that people will want to uh, get, a, or get a good view. Look how fast the graphics are rendering. This is looking at a photo album and iPhoto. And you see it takes a while to refresh. Every once in a while it redraws the screen like this. Not that often though. Because there's a whole bunch of images up here. As you can see. But for the most part working with the images, there's my little grandbaby, are pretty fast and easily productive. I mean, it's not like it's so slow I would never do this. And that's pretty much a hard case right there, is that uh, iPhoto with a bunch of graphics. This is System Profiler. Let's kill that, which I just did. And I don't know what else I've got in here. Word. I think that's pretty much everything that I wanted to show you. I just want to keep this under 10 minutes. But as you can see, it's actually working pretty pretty decent you know yeah there's some little glitches here and there but it's not bad and log me in giving you all of these great things like let's change the uh, resolution of the MacBook Pro back to 1680 by 1050 boom then this will redraw and make it nice and small the refresh takes a while, but then once you do that, you're okay. You see how fast things happen, how fast menus happen, and again, 
if we zoom in, we're crystal clear. I just want to make sure every, everybody understands that. It looks very high resolution. So if we go here to monitor, now this will be interesting because you're going to see something. I have a multi-monitor set up on my MacBook Pro. This is the right monitor I'm looking at now. And it's actually monitoring the video we're recording. So we're looking at an endless video. Let me get back to the main monitor, the, the one on the MacBook Pro itself. But as you can see, I can work with either monitor, which is pretty cool. And other things I can do up here, I forget. Scale to fit. Oh, actual size. Let's do this for a minute. I'm not sure how to get out of this, but we'll try it. Actual size means that it, we're looking at it at the original MacBook Pro resolution, 1680 by 1050. So we're panning. I haven't really done this much. So we're actually panning here. Looks like it has to refresh that dock a little bit because panning is a little difficult. But if you needed to zoom in, you see how easy that is to do. To do. Let me get back up here and turn that off because I don't like that. Let's go to scale to fit again, which will put it right back to single size. So there's all kinds of things we can do. Like I showed you, we do the resolution change on the fly to pretty much anything we want, really. And we change the MacBook. So even if we didn't like 1080, we could uh, say go 1152 by 72. I've never tried this by 752, which is going to make the Mac a little bit bigger. Oh, yeah. So we're actually working with it this way. But we're at a different native resolution, so I don't know how well that works. Let's let's get that turned back to 1680 by 1050. So this has been James Kendrick with JKOnTheRun.com showing you how feasible it is to use the free version of LogMeIn, which is at LogMeIn.com, to access a MacBook Pro or any Mac OS X using any Windows machine, really. Um, let's see if I can't zoom out a little bit. So you can see the whole keyboard that I'm using and everything. You see, but you see how easy that is. Let's go to, back to Firefox, shall we? Up she goes. See, you got the, all the special effects going on. It's pretty small at the native resolution of the MacBook Pro, but quite frankly, I can read this. You probably can't, but I actually can read this. So as you can see, when I get real close, I can read it. So, once again, James Kendrick, jkontherun.com, with running the Mac OS X via LogMeIn on the HP MiniNote sub-notebook, which is a great little device. 8.9 inch screen, 1280 by 800 or 768 resolution, webcam. I've done a video review already of this. I just wanted to show you how I'm getting some fun and good usage with OS X on the HP Mini. Thanks for stopping in, everybody. James Kendrick, out.